Where has the pain been in traditional multimedia live casting? Well, first is universal access, particularly mobile access. A whole lot of media, uh, multimedia streaming uh, was until recently frozen out of Apple devices uh, simply because they didn't support Flash. Um, uh, sometimes downloadable apps were required in order to show video along with other interactive elements um, and, uh, 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 and so on. So second is provisioning and setup. To be frank, video webcasts have been really complicated to set up and run. Um, Third, a lot of platforms support only static slides and not animations. Uh, fourth, the typical webcasting platform doesn't uh, support late changes. Uh, you know, how many times have you come in with late, uh, you know, somebody come in with, okay, I, I have you know, all these new substitute slides, and I said, no, we can't make any changes. Uh, some webcasting services require that your um, slides be locked and loaded the night before. Uh, fifth, uh, late arriving uh, viewers are uh, out of luck. Uh, they haven't had a, uh, had a choice up to now uh, to go back in the stream and watch from the start. Um, they, they're you know, stuck with kind of trying to figure it out um, uh, from you know, uh, going in the middle. Six, the webcast viewers are often busy people. They get interrupted. They miss stuff. Uh, seventh, the layout, and therefore you know, things like the relative size of, of video and uh, images. Uh, has typically been fixed. Sometimes it's 50-50, you know, side by side. Sometimes it's, it's like the video is a little thumbna thumbnail, you know, picture in picture or whatever. Uh, this doesn't take into account the fact that, you know, uh, as you're going through a multimedia webcast, you know, sometimes uh, uh, the, tension, the attention should be on the images, and sometimes those are very, you know, detailed images. Sometimes the attention should be on the, uh, uh, on the speaker. Uh, which leads us to general you know, layout uh, flexibility. A fixed layout doesn't always uh, fit the use case of a webcast. And you know, here's, here's another one. How often have you heard that the archived version of a live webcast will be posted tomorrow? Um, uh, you know, it shouldn't take that long. And then you know, finally, the expense. I talked about that earlier. Simply speaking, uh, running a video webcast shouldn't be as expensive as it is. So, these uh, pain points have led to what I call a manifesto for next generation live casting um, that follows the pain points. So, you know, mobile access to the full multimedia experience should be as easy as viewing on the desktop in a browser with no downloadable app. It should be relatively easy to set up and run, including the video. It should support uh, the full range of presentation animations, should take the stress out of, out of late changes to the slide deck. And here's a big one. You know, viewers, uh, when they arrive late, should never miss out on material. They should be given the option to, um, uh, to uh, go back to the beginning or you know, view it in progress or anywhere in between. So um, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've often just arrived at, at, at a webcast and say, oh gosh, I, I missed the first 12 minutes here. Uh, I'll wait for the on-demand version. And then I never get around to it, right? Um, hand in hand with this is that the experience should be DVR-like, pause, instant replay if you missed and wanted to review a point, able to jump around. And as you do, everything should stay in sync, okay? All the slides, all the footnotes, all, all that stuff should stay in sync. That means that the structure of the program, essentially the agenda, should be exposed and visible and navigable. Um, Viewers should be able to uh, jump back to specific sections of the material during the, uh, the webcast. Uh, a live cast should not necessarily be a couch potato experience. Uh, it should be an opportunity to engage. Interactive features like downloadable handouts, reference notes and links, you know, tell me more links, uh, allowing you to you know, kind of pause and, and, and kind of get an explanation or see, you know, see the source of you know, a chart uh, that, uh, that's being displayed, along with, you know, polls and quiz questions, et cetera, uh, should all be supported. Um, the online version should instantly be available, no over, overnight delays. Um, uh, it should be, you know, there and available right away. And then give me analytics that are deep, viewer-specific, and real-time. Show me who's here, who's been here and left, uh, how each viewer engaged with the material. I should not only be able to assess 
how my, uh, you know, from my analytics, how my contact, uh, how my content uh, performed in general, but I should be able to uh, identify which viewers engaged and which ones didn't. That's incredibly important uh, in, in, you know, everywhere from kind of marketing applications to, um, uh, to things like compliance uh, applications and training applications.